this problem you given the position vector and you given the force if you know the position vector and if you know the force the vector you need to find out what is the, the torque okay so this problem requires the understanding of uh, the cross product because the torque is the cross product of position vector and the force so the torque is simply equal to the torque is simply equal to r vector the cross product is the force vector this is how we define it so let's write it down what is the r vector r vector is 3 i'll just putting the numbers only not putting the unit uh, the units plus 4 j vector minus 2 k vector times the f vector is 5 i minus 2 j plus 3 k vector So we do it here, but I'd just like to tell you one thing. If you if you're just taking the cross product, let's say this is I, and J, and K. I cross J. This is J vector. I cross J vector is equal to. If you just take I J, it has to be equal to K. I times I is equal to zero. Similarly, j times k, j vector times k cross k vector is i vector. k times k vector times i vector is equal to j vector. So if you take the, the cross product of i times j, it has to be equal to k vector, this of the vector. Similarly, k times i is equal to j vector. If you take the opposite, let's say k times j, then it has to be negative i vector, okay? And the vector, let's say i vector times cross i vector is always equal to zero. Similarly, j vector times j vector is equal to zero. So you just have to multiply with all this condition. But here I'm using the matrix form to calculate the cross product. So how do I do that? So I vector, J vector, and K vector. Let's write down all the magnitude, uh, all the numbers here: three, four, and negative two. Then you have five, negative two, and three. I'm starting with i vector. If you just take this i vector, then you have to multiply this way. This vector, this is the first vector, and I'm putting the, and this has to be the negative. What I mean, I'm just taking the product of 4 times 3, which is 2, I'm just writing the numbers here. So you have to take this product, 4 times 3 is 2L. Once you multiply the opposite way, you have to have negative sign. So negative 2, negative 2 is 4, then you have to have negative here. This is plus 4, so you have negative 4 here. Now J vector. For this J vector, if you take the middle one, has to go the opposite. But first, you see, I'm just blocking this one. So you need to multiply first this vector and then 
this vector. And once you have this vector, you have to add the negative sign. So 5 times, this is negative 2 here. 5 times negative 2 is minus 10. 3 times 3 is 9. Then you have to add this negative here. This is 9. And now I'm multiplying with the k vector. So once you do the k vector, you have to just leave this alone. What's remaining is, first you need to multiply these two things. And then you have to multiply these two. Once you multiply this way, you have to add the negative sign here. And the negative sign here. 3 times minus 2 is 6 vector plus k minus 6. 5 times 4 is 20. Then you have to add the negative sign here. Minus 20. And then this product. 12 times 4 is 8. I. 19J. Plus minus 26. K vector. This is your product. 